Women don't want zombie men. Matt Cook here. I have over 700,000 men who subscribe to my newsletter. I've been interviewed by ABC News. I have uh, tens of thousands of men that I've coached, famous athletes, famous politicians, famous people, regular Joes. And today, right now in this video, I want to talk about how women don't like and are not attracted to zombie men. What I mean by that is most men today lack an essential masculinity. They lack purpose in their life. They lack direction. And they are basically directing their attention, their very, very important attention, on random things on, on uh, social media and on news and looking at their phones, just random stuff all day, every day, just randomly putting their attention on different places where it just happens to be grabbed. As a result, they're what I call zombie men, and they can become self-realized men quite easily. And a self-realized man is incredibly attractive to women because so few men are self-realized these days. Women love a guy who is self-realized. That man is confident, he's optimistic, he's light, he doesn't have heaviness, he may not be great at conversation, he may not be great at any lines, but women know they really like that guy. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you one other way you can absolutely be much, much more successful with women starting immediately. That's very, very easy to do. So let's talk about uh, 10 signs that you're a zombie man. Okay, or someone is a zombie man, right? So I'll use the third person here. Zombie men, they complain and they whine. So uh, if you read the, all the news websites, the news aggregators like Apple News or Google News, if you read um, all these other you know, websites, numerous websites, it's all bad news, it's all bad stuff. And so it's very negative and we're exposing ourselves to negative things all the time. Then we go on social media and people complain about this, complain about that. It's not interesting to say things are really good and this is really getting better. It's more interesting to say that they're, you know, going to heck in a handbasket. So as a result, zombie men absorb this and they become whiners and complainers without even realizing it. And it's very unattractive to be a, a whiner and a complainer. And it's not fun to be that person either. Number two, this is even worse than whining and complaining. That's telling a woman about your complaints and your problems. Telling a woman about your problems and complaints is awful. Unless you just want a friend. If you want a romantic relationship with a woman, don't tell her about your complaints and about your problems. She doesn't want to hear about it. A woman who is your friend will like to hear about it and you can cry on her shoulder and that's great. But if you want a romantic, physical romantic connection, a deep connection with a woman, uh, then you don't want to tell your problems. So in that case, if women are looking at you as a prospective romantic partner, women are asking themselves, the woman is asking herself, is this man going to be good in an emergency? Is he going to be good when the chips are down, when something is amiss and I need someone to defend me and protect me and protect my family, our family? Is he going to be that person? And if you're someone who's whining and complaining, you're telling the, the woman that you're a poor romantic partner because you can't handle things. You let them get the best of you. You're actually like a woman in a way, sorry to say, but women are more whiners and complainers this way. So you don't want to complain to her. You want to show her that you're competent in bad situations. And the most masculine attribute of a person who's competent is someone who's quiet. One of the most masculine people that I ever knew were both my father and my, later on my father-in-law. My father would not ramble on about things. He was one of the most uh, amazing and brilliant people that I've ever known. He could he read Greek and Latin and he was a physician and he was an incredibly smart person and accomplished and he was so quiet, so quiet. He had this quietness about him. And my father-in-law was the same way. He had escaped the Nazis, built to life also as a physician, went through terrible hardships and he was very quiet and very, you know, he listened to you intently. And he didn't always, he never complained. I never remember either my father or my father-in-law ever complaining about anything ever. <laughs> and it's a very attractive quality. Number three, zombie men buy lottery tickets. They believe in luck. They believe that uh, they've been screwed over. And they believe that they can unscrew themselves by, you know, investing in lottery tickets. And by that, I mean they basically think that luck really depends on where they are and where they're going to be. If you feel that you're responsible for where you are, then you're going to take steps to go to a different place. If you don't like where you are, you're going to go to a different place. But if it's luck that you believe in, then you're not going to bother trying to prove it because what's the use? It's, it doesn't matter anyway what you do. It's all a matter of luck. Okay? 
So zombie men buy lottery tickets. Um, next one. Zombie men believe that abilities, aptitudes are built in, that we have a certain amount of talent and uh, aptitude and ability and that we really can't get any more than that. It's fixed. When we were born, God handed out a certain amount of that talent to each person and it's, it's fixed. Can't do anything about it. Whereas a self-realized man understands that he can be anything he wants to be if he works hard enough at it. Now, you can't be everything. You can't be the best chess player in the world and also the best tennis player in the world and also a chief executive of a multi-billion dollar corporation. Maybe a few people can, but most of us can't. <laughs> so therefore, we have to pick a few things. But uh, uh, a self-realized man understands that if he picks something he really wants to do and just works at it really hard, eventually he'll get really good at it. There's no such thing as somebody with a certain amount of fixed talent. It's not fixed. It's completely changeable by what you do as a self-realized man. Next thing that zombie men believe in. The zombie men live for their time off. They live for the weekend. They live for the 5 o'clock bell which says they can go home. They live for their vacations. Self-realized men love their work. Maybe they don't love it, but they love parts of it, and they emphasize the parts that they do like. And if they don't love their work, they're looking for something else. They're looking to improve. So self-realized men are living for their whole day and night, every day and every night, because they realize that we're only on this earth for a certain amount of time. We don't know when a meteor is going to come in and, you know, smash us up and kill all of us. So we all have to assume that we don't, you know, we may have 70, 80 years left, or we may have five minutes left. You don't want to catch yourself doing something you really hate, that you really don't enjoy. Oh boy, I spent my life when I had it just doing all those things I didn't like. Um, so living for your time off is like that because you have to make a living. And if you don't like what you're doing to make a living, then a whole part of your life is, is bad. And a lot of us spend more time with the people that we work with at our job than we do with our families. So you really want to make sure you really enjoy your work and enjoy the people that you're working with. And if you don't, you need to find that uh, area, that, that job or team that you really do enjoy being with. Next one, zombie men eat mostly prepared foods. They don't think about cooking for themselves. If you don't cook for themselves, you don't learn how to do some amount of cooking. And it can be very simple, like heating up oatmeal, making scrambled eggs. It doesn't have to be complicated. But if you... Um, uh, are a self-realized man, you have ability in the kitchen to make the food that's healthy and good for you. You're eating plenty of fruit, healthy carbs, you're keeping your polyunsaturated fat, your seed oils and fish oils as low as possible. Um, you're eating foods that are prepared well. You're not eating all prepared foods. You're not eating out at restaurants all the time because if you do that, it's very difficult to eat a very healthy diet. Self-realized men are preparing their own food, making sure that they know how to do that, making sure that they have control over what they're eating. Next thing, speaking of food, a zombie man doesn't read labels. He just buys stuff at the store and just eats it. And then if someone says, oh, you're eating it, it has all these things in it, they go, what? They didn't even know. They never looked at a label. Self-realized men are looking at labels. That doesn't just apply to life. That applies to everything. You're reading the fine print. You're reading the contract. You're reviewing things. You're not just consuming something without understanding it. Zombie men think that, next one, that their health depends on going to a doctor. A self-realized man understands that the way he conducts his life can move him towards greater health or backwards towards worse health, that he may need a doctor, and sometimes a doctor is life-saving and important, but the object of living as a self-realized man is not needing the doctor. If you can avoid the need for medical intervention, you're much healthier and happier than if you're somebody that spends your time in and out of doctor's offices. And again, if you need it, you need it. Okay. Next to last one, zombie men spend their time grabbing their, um, looking at social media and letting it grab their attention. They spend their time on social media and watching stupid videos and you know, all that instead of reading books and reading articles and reading novels. Self-realized people know that novels are incredibly broadening and help wire your brain in amazing ways, that reading articles can be very helpful. I don't mean doom porn articles. I mean articles about... The constructive things, you know, for example, natural history or the history of Rome or others, a billion things. But they're not reading stupid articles about how, you know, next month the EU is going to be voting to ban, you know, gas stoves or whatever. I mean, when when it time comes, when you need to know that, you'll know it. You don't want to be reading all about that. Zombie men are just 
are constantly immersed in all this bad stuff, whereas self-realized people are, instead of that kind of garbage, and spending their time on social media, they're reading books and novels and articles. Last one, so um, zombie men are not questioning their life. They're not living with a purpose. They're not examining their life. A self-realized man may not have a purpose at the moment, but he'll have a purpose sooner or later. He'll develop a purpose. That purpose involves leaving a legacy behind so that when he has left this earth, people are talking about him and saying, that man was amazing. He did these amazing things. He left this behind. It could be that you have wonderful children you leave as your legacy. It could be a business. It could be that you made some people happy in your, in your church or synagogue or mosque or anything. It's a whole bunch of stuff. But a self-realized man is living for the long term to help others live a, with a purpose in life so that when it's time for him to leave, he looks back fondly and is so happy with his life, it feels very, very fulfilled. And all the way along the, the entire life, he has felt that way. Now, if you want to be a man who is a self-realized man, you want to attract a life partner, somebody who is very attractive, who takes care of herself, who looks great, who's smart, who's helpful, who doesn't mind being a woman and doing things that women are good at doing and love doing. To do that, you really want to have a certain scent, a scent that women can't get enough of on a man. Now, if you go to um, department stores, malls, uh, even expensive, very expensive colognes, uh, they're not going to contain the animal accords like Deer Musk, Civet, Castorium, and Ambergris. These animal accords that women can't get enough of on a man, they don't contain those. So there's one company that created this cologne that women just can't get enough of on a man, and it gives a man more confidence when he's wearing that cologne. It's called an attraction cologne. And the company, our sponsor, will send you a bottle. They'll send you a full bottle, not a little sample, a full-sized bottle as a trial just for you helping them out with the shipping. And then you get to use it, love it, enjoy it, and then they put the cost of the clone, which is actually quite reasonable, on your card that you've given them. Or they're not, they're easy to deal with. You can go on their website or you can call them. You can chat with them. And then if you don't want it somehow, which is unlikely, they'll tell you how you can send it back. They'll even pay the return postage. That's how sure they are that you're going to love it. Not too many people return it. They just love this attraction clone. They love how it feels. They love the confidence they get. They love the effect with women. So the supplies are limited. These are amazing clones. That you can't get any clone like this even for over $1,000, $800 to $1,200. You still can't. This, these, this attraction clone is absolutely a game changer. So get your full-size trial bottle right now by clicking the link below. I hope that you become a self-realized man, or maybe you already are. Thank you very much for watching, and Matt Cook here. See you on the next video.